Hello students, a uh, very warm welcome. The topic for today's discussion is Mediterranean region. Okay, so Now this Mediterranean region, this biogeographical region includes the Mediterranean Sea. Obviously the name comes from the sea itself. It includes Mediterranean Sea along with seven member states. It includes Mediterranean Sea and seven, seven member state. What is that? Seven member state includes some of the European countries, hmm, some of the European countries either completely or partially. Okay. Seven member means seven are there. Okay. Let's take a note of the partial ones. It is France, Portugal, Italy, and Spain. And the complete ones are Greece, Malta, and Cyprus. So you will have to remember the names of these seven countries, okay? So Mediterranean region includes Mediterranean Sea and seven member states either partially that is france portugal italy and spain or completely that is greece that are greece malta and cyprus okay it has specific regional features now certain regional features are exclusive to this particular region they are very specific okay a climate of hot dry summers and humid cool winters and a generally highly uh, generally hilly landscape so the three major characteristic feature are a uh, you know very hot like pretty hot and dry summer humid cool winters and a generally hilly landscape that is the reason see i have given this picture this is a this is a this, uh, this picture is to give you an idea about the hilly landscape of mediterranean region the mediterranean has not only a very rich biodiversity but also a large number of species that do not exist anywhere else now, Mediterranean region is a wonderful region in itself. Why is it so different from others? You know, it has got a very rich biodiversity, very rich biodiversity. And this rich biodiversity is a characteristic feature of this particular region because, you know, a large number of species are found over here which are not found elsewhere. Okay, the Mediterranean region is also known as the cradle of Europe. See, this is the picture of Mediterranean region in the globe. Position of Mediterranean region or location of Mediterranean region. Fine. See, only 2% of land area, but approximately 20% of plant species. Okay. Latitudinal span is 30 degrees to 35 degrees. You need not learn up this diagram, but this is for you to know. Right? 
the Mediterranean basin straight stretches 3,800 note 3,800 kilometers east to west. So east to west span is 3,800 kilometers east to west from the tip of Portugal to the shores of Lebanon. These uh, location location related data are very important. Okay, three thousand eight hundred kilometers east to west from the tip of Portugal, from tip of Portugal to the tip of Portugal to the shores of Lebanon. Correct. Tip of Portugal to the shores of Lebanon and. 1,000 kilometers north to south from Italy to Morocco. So from north to south, if you see, it is Italy to Morocco. Hmm. That means what? If you take it like this, right? North to south, it is... thousand kilometers and from Italy to Morocco and if you take it from east to west it is from the tip of Portugal to the shores of Lebanon okay this is 3800 kilometers right Within the European Union, the Mediterranean region encompasses seven member states, either partially or completely, which I have just discussed. You will have to know the names of these seven members. The climate is characterized by hot, dry summers and humid, cool winters, but it can be notoriously capricious with sudden torrential downpours, that is sudden rain or bouts of high winds. Okay, uh, this is not very common, like having, having bouts of high winds and torrential rain is not that common, but it is, it is there, it is common actually. Okay, so this is not that common, but yes, it is there. Torrential downpour and bouts of high winds, right? These are known as Sirocco, Mistral. All right, please try to remember these two names. This can occur at various times of the year. These climatic conditions have a profound influence. Right? These climatic conditions have a profound influence on the vegetation and wildlife of the region, which is very obvious, isn't it? The climatic condition of a particular region will definitely govern, will definitely have an influence on the uh, vegetation and wildlife at that particular region. Okay. For a region that takes its name from the sea it surrounds, that is the Mediterranean Sea, hmm, the Mediterranean is surprisingly hilly. Though it takes its name from the sea, that is Mediterranean Sea, the region, okay, the surrounding is surprisingly 
hilly. It includes high mountains and rocky shores, thick scrub, and semi arid steppes, coastal wetlands, and sandy beaches, as well as a myriad of islands dotted across the sea. Okay. Now let's talk a little about what we have done. That is what mankind has done. Man has left its mark across much of the landscape. Fine, the Mediterranean scrub with its many flowers and aromatic plants is a direct result of centuries of human activities. Okay, livestock grazing, cultivation, forest fires, cultivation and then forest fires, please, uh, there, there will be will be a comma here. Hmm. Livestock grazing, cultivation, forest fires, and clearances. This crop has evolved into a complex and intricate mobile patchwork of habitats. Why patchwork? It's not continuous. Some here, some there, like this. Patchwork of habitats home to an exceptionally rich biodiversity. This is something very, very important. Home to an exceptionally rich, home to an exceptionally rich biodiversity. Hmm. Then coming to topography. Mediterranean region offers an ever-changing landscape of high mountains, rocky shores, impenetrable scrub. Now, what is impenetrable scrub? It means the scrub cannot be, the scrub cannot be penetrated. You just can't remove it. You just can't go inside it, right? It is an impenetrable scrub, semi-arid steppes, coastal wetlands, sandy beaches, and a myriad of islands of various shapes and sizes dotted amidst the clear blue sea. See, this is a pictorial representation of the Mediterranean soil. Hmm. The upper part has thin mull humus form, forming in eroded remains of this region. Hmm. The alluvial horizon is enriched with clay and iron. Fine. It has become red in color, this part. Can you see the difference in color in these regions? It is pretty different. See, this part has one type of a color. This part has one type of a color. This part again has another type of a color. High clay content renders them relatively impermeable, right? High clay content renders them relatively impermeable. Why? Because clay particles bind each other tightly. They are not porous like sand. That is why when the content of clay is more, it renders the particles, uh, I mean it makes the soil impermeable and prone to erosion. Fine. Now coming to C. Parent material or commonly no, uh, these are commonly calcareous in nature. Hmm. But in this case, it is composed of Paleozoic shales. Hmm. See, let's talk a little about the ecos uh, Mediterranean ecosystem. Okay. Now, it is humid. You know, when it's humid, the week of uh, drought is, you can say, the week of drought is somewhere 
less than six. Soil type is Luvi soils. Vegetation you can get here beech, deciduous, oak, pines, all these. Okay. In subhumid condition, you have six to ten weeks of drought. Soil is nitrosols, evergreen oak, that is, you get pine over here. In deciduous ones in the, over there, in humid times, you get oak, pine, all these stuff, all these uh, trees. In semi-arid condition, you have 10 to 25 weeks of drought. See, as you are coming down, See, as the content of moisture is decreasing, see, as the content of moisture is falling or decreasing, humid means what? Content of moisture is very high, considerably high, little less in subhumid condition, even less in semi-arid condition and least in arid condition. Here you see number of weeks of drought is also increasing. In semi-arid condition, you see 10 to 25 weeks of drought. 10 to 25 weeks of drought. Fine. Then here you see non-calcic grounds. The soil is non-calcic ground. And you have desert grasslands over here. Arid means what? Obviously, desert plants will grow. Hmm? Then finally, see here in arid condition, you have more than 25 weeks of drought. The water content becomes considerably less. Hmm. The soil is aridosol and vegetation is completely desert. Desert vegetations. Hmm. This is also a picture related to the previous slide. The different types of plants that are growing in Mediterranean, submediterranean, humid, subhumid, and semi arid regions. Okay. Now let's talk a little about the biodiversity of the region. I have already told you it's a it is very rich in biodiversity. Hmm? You know this. Mediterranean wildlife and habitats are very specific as the region was not affected by the last ice age. It was not affected. Hmm. The rate of endemism is exceptionally high. This is an important line you must know. The rate of endemism, the rate of endemism is exceptionally high. Correct? The rate of endemism is exceptionally high. That means very high endemism. Whilst the Mediterranean scrub is synonymous with the region, there are many other species rich, uh, rich habitats here. Large tracts of natural, virtually pristine forests have remained relatively untouched by man. Human intervention has not yet taken place in some of the regions. Hmm. While most central and north European forests are now dominated by only a dozen or so tree species, the Mediterranean forests are much more diverse. Okay, the Mediterranean forests are much more diverse, harboring up to 100 different tree species. These are, this region is, uh, you know, it, it is a, little, a bit more dry for trees. Other areas of Mediterranean are covered in grassland. 
when trees are not in generally if it is not having enough of uh, enough humidity then trees are not prevalent trees are actually not prevalent in those regions okay the region is covered with grasslands these semi arid steppic areas may seem barren and lifeless but on closer inspection okay on if you uh, inspect it if you see if you look at it closely closer inspection reveal an equally rich wildlife hmm. an equally rich wildlife these grasslands are prime locations for the great bustard okay the little bustard and a whole range of ground nesting birds such as pintail sand grouse okay where on contrary where water is abundant okay wetlands appear at regular intervals ranging from tiny coastal lagoons to vast deltas around the coastline they harbor hundreds of species of endemic fish amphibians and insects which in turn attract huge flocks of waders and dabbling ducks especially during the migration season okay up to 2 billion birds can you imagine the number such high such a big number up to 2 billion birds migrate to or through the mediterranean region every year some merely stop over for a few days to refuel before crossing the sahara sahara means what the sahara desert but others spend the entire winter here to escape the cold weather further north as you move towards north it becomes very cold so to escape the cold weather further north hmm, they prefer staying in this mediterranean region another distinguishing feature of the region is its very long association with man which has left its mark across much of the landscape hmm. the ubiquitous mediterranean scrubs with its profusion of flowers and aromatic plants for instance is a direct result of centuries of human induced activities uh such as forest fires uh clearances livestock grazing and cultivation this is what we have done to the place when mankind starts inhabiting a particular region what will they do they will definitely do all these uh, things and human induced activities will also have an influence in that uh, i mean on that particular place which is absolutely very very prominent hmm? so this is how we come to the end of our lecture mediterranean region actually is not a very tough one to study you just need to know the geographical features a uh, little about its biodiversity and that's all and that seven member the names of the seven member states okay so thank you so much for your kind attention hope to see you soon have a nice time bye bye